Hey guys, so I know this is different from the videos I usually do, but I wanted to show you a little bit of what I do outside of just sitting in front of a camera against a blank wall. So right now I am on my way to the open mic that I run once a month. I have my sign up sheet. I already got some people signed up, ready to go. We're getting ready for a good event. Millville Mash, woohoo. I don't know. We'll see what happens. stuck under your tiny nails unfurls to reveal a small jagged piece of slag hey guys what's up i am currently on my way in the car uh to a filming a friend of mine alex is putting together a, a video series of local artists and writers and musicians doing they thing on the camera. So I'm about to head there and I thought I'd take you guys along. So buckle up. I'm here at Studio Me in East Liberty and now it is pouring down rain. So I'm gonna do my best to get in there without turning myself into a camera unready mess. Non-camera. Buckle up. Here we are, Studio Me. What are we doing here, Alex? Hi everyone, having fun. Yeah, the backdrop, all kind of cameras. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I know that that was a little different, but I promise I'm not just trying to advertise my open mic. That's just part of it. Traditionally, we have this idea of the writer as someone who sits alone in a cabin drinking scotch and intermittently weeping into a typewriter. And while this may seem like kind of an antiquated idea at this point, a lot of the ways that we talk about the writing life still perpetuate this solitary idea. Writing is a job. Wake up every morning at 5 a.m. and write for three hours. Put in the work. We have this idea that writing is a serious endeavor meant only for the most serious and disciplined among us. And I mean like, I don't disagree with that. Except for the waking up at 5 a.m. part. That sounds awful. I don't have an issue with the fact that we say this stuff. It's just the way we say it. Because I don't know about you, but I decided I wanted to be a writer because writing was a lot of fun. Not because I was hoping for a really hard, low paying job. And telling people that the only way to succeed in this game is to lock themselves in the basement and not come out until they're published sounds like a great way to make sure that the only stories we hear are the ones written by like Smeagol or whatever. So yes, work, 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 work your ass off. But don't let it isolate you. Writing should be about bringing people together, not just for the reader, but for the writer too. But for that to happen, you have to be open. You have to get connected. Go to an open mic. Even if you don't read or perform, get out there and meet other artists. Get inspired by what they're doing. Maybe you'll find someone who wants to collaborate with you, an artist or a musician or a videographer or whatever. It can be anything. When a project becomes collaborative, it becomes more alive. Even if it's just another writer, I mean, the process of writing with someone else can be a crazy, fun, and rewarding thing. Kerouac, for instance, long before the success of his book On the Road, now that I think of it, is actually pretty pro-solitude. Teamed up with his friend William Burroughs to write a collaborative novel called And the Hippos Were Boiled in Their Tanks. 
Typically this is the part where I hold up a copy of whatever it is I'm talking about, but let's be honest, I kind of it. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because that's not important. And also because like, what was on the road even about? What's so cool about it is that they each came up with their own main character, which is just basically themselves, and traded off chapters, each writing from their own first person perspective. It's quick and fun and alive and all because they decided to take the risk and collaborate. So put yourself out there. Even if you don't find a collaborator, you'll probably find some pretty cool friends. And as proof, I'll leave you with one of mine. Check the link in the description to listen to her brand new EP. It's really good. She's